Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Get ready for 15 engaging questions about the Holy Bible. Subscribe and like to support us. Share your score in the comments. Join our channel to access exclusive content and support our mission. Let's start the quiz. Question 1. What did Solomon build in the desert? A. A palace. B. An oasis. C. Cities for his chariots and horsemen. D. A garden. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And Solomon had chariots and horsemen. He had a thousand and four hundred chariots and twelve thousand horsemen, whom he bestowed in the chariot cities and with the king at Jerusalem. Second book of Chronicles, chapter 1, verse 14. Question 2. How many wives did Solomon have? A. 300. B. 700. C. 1,000. D. 500. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And he had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. First Book of Kings, Chapter 11, Verse 3 Question 3 What did Nathan prophesy to David regarding the consequences of his sin with Bathsheba? A. Nathan prophesied that David's kingdom would be divided. B. Nathan prophesied that the sword shall never depart from David's house. C. Nathan prophesied that David would lose his throne. D. Nathan prophesied that David's crops would fail for seven years. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Now therefore the sword shall never depart from thine house, because thou hast despised me and hast taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be thy wife. Second book of Samuel, chapter 12, verse 10. Question 4. Where was David anointed king over Israel? A. Bethlehem. B. Hebron C. Jerusalem D. Gilgal Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Second book of Samuel Chapter 5, verse 3. So all the elders of Israel came to the king to Hebron, and King David made a league with them in Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel. Question 5. What sign did God first give Moses to convince the Israelites? A. Rod turning into a serpent. B hand becoming leprous C water turning into blood D parting of the Red Sea time to think the right answer is letter A and he said 
cast it on the ground, and he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent, and Moses fled from before it. Book of Exodus, chapter 4, verse 3. Question 6. What did God show Moses on Mount Sinai besides the Ten Commandments? A. A map of the promised land. B. The design for the tabernacle. C. A vision of the future. D. The Garden of Eden. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Exodus, chapter 25, verse 9. According to all that I show thee, after the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall ye make it. Question 7. What was Job's response to his friend's accusations of wrongdoing? A. He thanked them for their wisdom. B. He maintained his innocence. C. He admitted his faults. D. He cursed God. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. God forbid that I should justify you. Till I die, I will not remove mine integrity from me. Book of Job, chapter 27, verse 5. Question 8. What was Job's reaction after God revealed his might and wisdom through his creation? A. He repented in dust and ashes. B. He offered sacrifices for his friends. C. He demanded an apology from God. D. He continued to question God's decisions. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Job, chapter 42. Verses 5 and 6. I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now mine eye seeth thee. Wherefore I abhor myself, and repent in dust and ashes. Question 9. What did Rebekah have on her head when she met Abraham's servant by the well? A. A veil. B. A crown. C. A scarf. D. Flowers. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. For she had said unto the servant, What man is this that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant had said, It is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself. Book of Genesis, chapter 24, verse 65. Question 10. What was Noah instructed to make the ark out of? A. Oak. B. Gopher wood. C. Pine. D. Cedar. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Genesis, chapter 6, verse 14. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Room shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without, with pitch. Question 11. 
Which son of Adam and Eve was a shepherd? A. Cain B. Abel C. Seth D. Enoch Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Genesis, chapter 4, verse 2. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Question 12. What offering did Abraham make to the Lord near the oaks of Mamre as he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day? A. A calf tender and good. B. Seven lambs. C. A grain offering. D. Two turtle doves. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Genesis. Chapter 18, verse 7. And Abraham ran unto the herd, and fetched a calf tender and good, and gave it unto a young man, and he hasted to dress it. Question 13. What did God provide to Abraham on the mountain as a sign of provision during the sacrifice of Isaac? A. A ram. B. A dove. C. A lamb. D. An eagle. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Genesis, chapter 22, verse 13. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Question 14. Who was Solomon's father? A. Saul B. David C. Samuel D. Abraham Time to think. The right answer is letter B. And David comforted Bathsheba his wife, and went in unto her, and lay with her. And she bare a son, and he called his name Solomon, and the Lord loved him. Second book of Samuel, chapter 12, verse 24. Question 15. What was David's profession before he became king? A. Shepherd. B. Soldier. C. Carpenter. D. Merchant. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. First book of Samuel, chapter 17, verse 34. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. 
And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score, any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.